I'm really excited for some backstabbing bitches. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> and today I'm here with my July most anticipated releases for 2019 I have a total of five that I'm going to talk about I tried to pick the less popular ones because nobody wants to hear about the same of five books on everybody's channel so without further ado let us get started so the first book that I have is called Queen of Ruins by Tracy Banghart and this is actually a sequel to Grace and Fury which is released on July 2nd 2019. I'm not going to give a synopsis for book two because you know it's a sequel but book one follows sisters Nomi and Serena whose lives both change very drastically when Nomi is noticed by the heir to the throne and Serena is sent far far away for something that happens. I read the first book in May and it ended in a big cliffhanger so I'm very intrigued to see where the story goes so this is definitely on my most anticipated list. Hopefully I will find a copy of it soon so I can figure out what happens to the sisters. The second book that I have is called The Best Lies by Sarah Liu and this is also supposed to be released July 2nd 2019. I have a physical arc so I'm really excited that I get to read it very shortly but this follows a girl named Remy who had the perfect life. She had a loving boyfriend named Jack and a best friend that completely understood her named Elise. One day Jack ends up being shot in the chest by Elise and Remy has to decide whether it was self-defense or something more sinister. I'm a huge fan of stabby stabby murder murder books. I mean it kind of is a stabby stabby murder murder book but he was shot in the chest. I just think that it's gonna be a really cool thriller YA story. I'm hoping that it's kind of similar to Dangerous Girls by Abigail Haas because that was one of my favorite books when I read it in like 2016, 2015, I'm not 100% sure, but it's the only like YA thriller that I've loved, so I kind of get vibes off of that. I'm hoping that it's similar. The next book I have, I think, sounds so freaking cool, and I am so excited about it. It's called The Chain by Adrian McKinney and this is supposed to be released July 9th 2019 but listen to this synopsis. So basically one day you drop your child off at school and then you receive a phone call letting you know that your child has been kidnapped. So in order to get your own child back you have to go kidnap somebody else's child within 24 hours. If you are unsuccessful in kidnapping another child or the next parents do not kidnap another child, your child is killed, and thus you are part of the chain. The whole concept of this book is terrifying, but so intriguing because like you are relying solely on another person to save your child, but also like you're kidnapping another child, so like life sucks, you know? But I'm just like mind blown by the concept of this book. I'm really hoping it's good. I need it in my life. I might actually go and buy this one full price, which means that I really want to read it because it sounds hecka good. Then the next book I have is another one where I actually have a physical copy of it. It is called The Arrangement by Robin Harding. This is supposed to be released on July 30th, 2019. And this one is another one that I think sounds really intriguing. So this follows Natalie who is in search of some extra money. So she decides that she's going to become a sugar baby. And so she meets an older gentleman named Gabe who is 30 years older than her. She begins developing feelings for Gabe. She she tells Gabe that her feelings are developing into more than just a sugar baby, sugar daddy relationship. He informs Natalie that he is in no way planning on leaving his current family and his wife and that's when Natalie decides that she's going to stop at nothing to get what she wants. He even becomes friends with Gabe's daughter who is very similar in age with Natalie. Gabe never thought that this arrangement would end in murder but when a body is found very close to his apartment he begins to think otherwise. Personally I just think that this sounds really cool and I really want to know if like Natalie is like a stabby stabby murder murder let's kill everybody who's close to Gabe kind of person or if something else is going on but I'm excited for it. So thank you so much to the publisher for sending me a copy of this because I'm actually 
super excited about it. I feel like we should take a shot for every time I say I'm excited in this video because y'all gonna be white girl wasted. The next book that I have is my one contemporary pick. I always try to pick one book that isn't a murder murder savvy savvy book because I know not everybody loves those books. So this is the one that caught my eye this month. It is called Only Ever You by C.D. Rice and this is to be released July 9th of 2019. So this follows Rachel who thought by the time she was 30 that she would have her entire life together. She'd be living in a beautiful house, have a loving husband, have basically her shit together. She never expected her mother to get cancer. So one day she runs into her childhood best friend Sebastian and he reminds her of a contract that they made when they were little that if they didn't have their lives together by the time they were 30 that they would marry each other. She never expected that he would have kept that contract and want to put it into motion and that's basically the story. I personally think that this sounds kind of like a cute little rom-com movie so we love rom-com movies so hopefully we love the rom-com book version version of the movie. I'm really excited for it. I think it sounds really cute. So I'm here for this one. All right guys, so that was my July 2019 most anticipated releases. Let me know down below if you guys plan on reading any of these or if you have already read them, what you thought of them. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!